Okay, I got a bunch of Silver Age Marvel books here. All of these books were bought together from a fairly big collection. Um, I bought about three collections altogether in the past 10 years or so. And uh, these came from the same collection that uh, have mostly Silver Age. I think it was about 1200 books or so. And half of the books are Silver Age and half are Bronze, Early Bronze. I sold most of them. Um, some slab, some raw, but here are most of what are remain that are in good condition. I slapped some of them and got anywhere from 8.5 as you can see here to 9.4. Uh, a fairly nice collection. Uh, the PQ was kind of inconsistent but uh, I think that's more because of CGC than the book themselves. Um, I think most of these books were fought in the off-white to white color but once in a while CGC will hammer a book and give it a cream PQ like this one. One thing you notice is a, sl is a slight um, pencil right there for date. Many of these books have that uh, distinction as you can see there. Some don't, but surprisingly, many, many did, as you can see. Uh, I kept a few. Um, I would love to keep them all, but can't have everything, and I just didn't want to have so many, many books anymore. And um, I think the most complete collection is Iron Man. This collection did have a full run of Iron Man from 1 to about 50. I sold number 1 and I think almost all of them and this is I think the sole remaining Iron Man I have left from this collection. It's a very nice book. And uh, I probably will keep it. The same thing with the Avengers. It's always fun to uh, flip through Silver Age uh, books. This one, probably one of my favorite uh, Silver Age Spider-Man with the Kingpin. It's a beautiful book. I probably give this book at least a 9. As you can see, it's a fairly decent book. Pretty sharp corners and edge. And the PQ, very nice. Um, most likely off white to white. And um, the cover has slight hint of yellowing, but not you know major browning or tanning. But it's a decent book, and I love John Romita art inside. It's pretty good. It's great. It's a pretty cool book and uh, you know, a fairly nice collection. You can see this book, the back cover is flawless. Let's see what else. This one is pretty good too. Number 54, once again, you're probably looking at something that in the 8.59 easily. The corners and edge are pretty sharp. It does slight, I think, uh, overhang crease here, but that I think that's what I th think could keep this book in the 8.5 range. But there's nothing wrong there. The gloss of this one here is just beautiful. A gorgeous book, no doubt. And then you have uh, X-Men. The X-Men run of this collection was 
not as nice as far as uh, comparing it to the Spider-Man, but there were some nice ones. Uh, I, I kept a few of the better copy, uh, and here's one of them, X-Men 24, as you can see. Pretty sharp looking book. I would never have any problem with Silver Age book that look like this. It might not be 9.8, but I would take 8.5 or 9.0 book that look like this any day of the week for cheap. Um, the PQ here is also very nice as you can see. No browning or tanning. Pretty good stuff. Perhaps two of the toughest X-Men Silver Age book is right here, number 39 and number 42. Number 42 is just gorgeous as you can see the claws. This book is stunning. Because of the black cover, it's very hard to find. I meant to slap this copy. Um, a long time ago but I never get around to it but as you can see the corner the edge the spine are pretty good this book is 9.4 easy could be much higher and the wrapping is perfect it's very difficult to find good wrapping of this book and I have never find a nicer copy raw um, so I'm happy to have this copy maybe someday I will slab it but for now it's a keeper as, as you can see once again pretty nice See, number 39 is not as nice. I think the corner is not as sharp. And there's a few more um, spine ticks at the spine. But as you can see, the wrapping of number 39 is also very nice. Also a keeper. I have um, a slap copy of that book, but. Uh, I'm keeping that one. Let's see what that was. Number 45. This one have that um, handwriting in pencil. Like most of the book in this collection, the gloss is beautiful. Quite nice. Well, I already have a 9-4 slap of this copy, so there's no reason to slap this book, but uh, it's definitely a good keeper to have uh, if I ever want to flip through it and read the story, which I did. I, I saw many of these uh, raw books uh, to many of my friends, so hopefully they enjoyed the collection. Uh, let's see, last on this pile is another X-Men with the same pencil writing on the cover. Once again, the wrapping of this book is perfect. I have bought many collections, as I mentioned, three. Um, and it's rare that I have so many nice looking, nicely center book in one collection. So I was pretty happy. It's a really nice collection. Um, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if I run across any more of the books from this collection, I probably would tape them. I know there was a full run of Tales to Astonish. Not a full run, but a pretty big run. There was a lot of Daredevil, a lot of Fantastic Four. Uh, there were so many. It was 
you know, when I bought it, it was the biggest Silver Age haul I ever had. And it immediately quadrupled my Silver Age collection. And I sold so many over the past two years that it's only a handful that is left. Kind of sad, but it's time to let them go. Well, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video.